Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do now a way of sharpening a picture that should be already pretty sharp because it's not going to work too well if it is a bit blurred. So because it's a number of steps which will accentuate an already sharp area. So first of all what we're going to do is go to Live Filters and Denoise and we're not going to use this yet because we put it underneath because you don't want to try to denoise a, a, an over sharp picture. But we'll come back to it. So the next one I'm going to do is go to High Pass Filter. And here, just click the monochrome here. Roll the mouse wheel one here to go to one pixel. And here then go to Linear Light. You can always go back and change these, by the way, but this is a good default place to start from. Then hit Control J to duplicate the high pass filter and reduce the radius then to 0.1 px. In other words, the minimum amount. It's amazing the difference that can make. Then we go to Live Filters and put in a clarity and turn this up to about 40. If you hold down the Shift key, then you can roll it and it'll step 10 at a time. And then again, we can go back to it. And after clarity, we go to the adjustments, brightness and contrast. And turn up the contrast, hold down the shift key, 10, 20%. That's the default that works for me with my pictures. Do experiment with yours to find what the kind of good starting position is for yours. So now when we just go and select these, Turn them off, turn them on. You can see there's a sharpening going on here. If we go in a bit closer, we can see more of that. So let's turn this off. Now you've got the starting position, turn them on, and you've got that uh, extra amount there. So let's go in here and look at this. You can see here, you've got some kind of noise in this area. So for this, we go to the noise reduction, see how much we can reduce that. And typically this will be around 15-20% for a lot of pictures for me. Um, try it for you. So I turn this up here until... Is that going to reduce here? And when you start getting sometimes, look, I'm going all the way up. It's not actually doing it. So you have to start then looking at some of these here. So I'm going to go back down here, turn it up a little bit. But there's a bit here, it's not denoising. So I go to the... Turn off the top one. Turn off the next one. And it keeps going down, but turn off the next one. Ah, see where that's disappeared here. So this is the second high pass, which is the 0.1 pixel here. So we leave that off for the moment. I adjust this to make that fairly good. So around about 20% is usually as much as you need, sometimes 10%. And then if I put on the 0.1 so you can see there's a bit of detail appearing here so I'm going to go to that one there turn down the opacity here and round about 30% it kind of disappears then I put on the clarity again and that's okay so it adds a little bit to it doesn't need any adjusting but you can always try it and then the brightness and contrast which again will is an easy way because when you add contrast it looks more sharp so that is the, the set that you've got there. So what I can easily do to this, click on that, shift click on that, control C to copy, go to another picture and control V to paste that. Look at what happens. See the way this just jumps out. We turned off down that high pass filter there. So we can now go in here and have a look at something here. Can we bring that opacity back up again here? Yeah, it works OK on this one. So we'll just do it again. Brightness all the way down to the noise reduction. Control C. Go over to another picture. Control V to paste. And it again sharpens it up. But each time you can go in, you can adjust any of these. You can go through each one. You can turn them on and off to see what's happening. But there you've got a set of controls here, which will really make a big difference. Each one adding something in a slightly different way to help you get an ultra sharp picture. That's it and thank you very much for watching.